Hi, Entropians. It's me, Mikhail. And guess Hi. where I am? I'm in hell. I went straight to hell again. Do not pass go. Do not collect $100. No, really, I was just kind of looking around because I came down here to stock my shop and then I'm like, you know, when's the last time I did a video down here? I don't remember. And it kind of ties into my shop ownership and like the things you should or shouldn't do because players maybe don't know or maybe you're just not thinking of your audience. You know, things like that. So, you know, I guess I'll show you my shop first. Just from a distance. I mean, this isn't a sales pitch or anything. Wink, wink. But I do sell firewall armor down here. I do sell some amps, some mining equipment, and I also sell some hell keys, some lockpick kits. Those are getting harder to come by because I can't get the blueprint I need to craft the component I need, and the materials are kind of hard to come by. But hey, I do what I can when I can. So anyway, this is my shop. And you'll note that if I change to walking mode, I can glide easily into my shop, even though I'm a tall avatar and I'm wearing a helmet. <laughs> you know what it looks like to me? I look like I'm in a snowmobile suit. You can tell. I'm excited it's almost winter because it's October here in, in the land of beer and cheese, and that means it's almost winter. That's what made me think that kind of looks like my daughter's snowmobile suit. I don't particularly care for snowmobiling, but the girl and the husband love it. I mean, the roommate? Wait, what? Yeah, we all know I'm married. Who am I trying to kid? That is not going to stop me from saying no to a sugar daddy who wants to throw a pet at my feet. Wink, wink. <laughs> Feel free to fill out the application at the end of this video. Oh yeah, I can run again. So, yeah, I was actually checking out the other shops, and I got to this shop, and I went, Miner's Den? Oh, and they're affiliated with the FOMA shop. Hmm, the, the similar name. And then, isn't there one on Arcadia, too, that's called Miner's Den? So, is that one affiliated? I guess comment below and let me know if it's affiliated, because I think it is. Even though that shop's owned by... Well, anyway. I think... Well, okay. So I think it's affiliated. I'm not sure. But anyway. So change to walking mode by pressing the letter Q. It's default on your keyboard. And I'm going to walk in. That's what I'm going to do. Straightforward. Oh, ow. Sorry, what? Ow. Ow. Oh, I'm filming. Sorry. Okay, sorry. You hit the button then. I can't get out of her shop. I mean, the Avatar shop. Whoever owns this shop. Oh, there we go. Now I was able to get out. So I'm hitting my head. I can barely get in the shop. Because they have their sign too low. <laughs> you know what, though? I was here like two weeks ago, and I couldn't get in at all. But I was wearing firewall. I wonder if there's a difference between firewall and disco. See, it's stuck. Hi there. Woo, let's spin around. So then when I turn around, can I get out? Yeah, barely. Phew. Wouldn't want to be stuck in there very long, let me tell you. So let's take a look at who is being so inconsiderate for tall avatars. Oh yeah, Ambutanchi Ambudantia, Ambudantia, Hathor, Necessitas. You know what's funny about that is I looked up that name. Ah, <sighs> the goddess of abundance. <laughs> And all I can think is, wait, the goddess of abundance? Um, wait, now I, this makes me want to Google this again. Ha Hathor, I thought Hathor was the Egyptian, um, yeah, I did this a while ago. Because I was like, oh, this hell shop, I mean, obviously, it's the same person as Arcadia and Foma. No. Yeah, Hathor is an ancient Egyptian goddess who personified the principles of joy, feminine love, and motherhood. That is adorable. And sometimes she was portrayed as a cow. <laughs> but anyway, Mistress of the West, welcoming the dead into the next light, next life. Um, oh, and pa this, is, this is where I think the tie-in is. 
the patron goddess of miners. So, I mean, whoever thought up this name really put a lot of thought into their avatar name. Because it's the abundant goddess of miners with all the necessary stuff. Now, who in the world would put that much thought into a alt avatar name? Well, I think you know the same person who owns the shop on Arcadia. The same person who owns the shop on FOMA. See, unlike some shop owners, I just have it in my name. Every shop is in my name. I got to get to every planet, purchases, transferring goods, crafting. Like, I just do it as Mikhail because I don't, I'm not a believer in the alt system. I won't ever say that I think it's a bad thing to have an alt because I've, I actually have an alt that I borrowed to a friend to pilot their spaceship. So it got pilot skills that I probably will never cash out because I never log into the damn thing. But, I mean, there are uses. And I could see how someone would want this in, you know, because it's such an easy access to storage, such an easy access to the to the Rectropian um, auction. I could see where they would have an alt running their shop. The only thing that really bugs me is how conceited the name sounds. And then the other thing that really bugs me is this sign. Because I get stuck. I can't move. Other than that, I mean, if they want to keep selling a little bit cheaper than me, I'd be happy to just buy their shit and put it in my shop to sell. <laughs> you know, maybe I'll just take this to Arcadia and sell it there. Look at that. 20% below monthly MU. Someone hasn't logged into their alt lately. Either that or they're doing a hell of a crafting run and just simply, you know, making buku bucks. Oh, and Terramaster 3, 117. Now see, now that, that's almost 10% higher. The other one was almost 10% lower. So either they're not on top of the game or they really do price according to how they craft. Or according to how their mother crafts. Because, you know, like a mother figure. This one, under markup. See, I'm real tempted. Because I have no problem buying at 110 and going down the road and selling at 115. Makes me into a reseller, maybe a little, you know. But you should really do your research also who you're buying from. Because some people just aren't very nice to everyone. I try to be nice to everyone. And remember last video where I was like, you know, there might be like four people that don't like me? Well, one of them owns this shop. <laughs> I don't care, it's a game. And besides, I look really good in my armor down here in the dark. Because I look better in the dark. This one I can't even craft yet because I don't have the blueprint. Which really makes me want to take it to Monrea. But anyway, if I can get out of here, I'll let you guys go. But I really think you should check it out down here. There are hell instances that take the hell keys. There is also like the training pit through that big arch over there with scary skeleton people that you can do like waves. I don't really know if there's a, I don't think that there's a mission for that yet. But you know, whatever. You could just hang out down here in the lava where it's hot and steamy. See, I'm not effective. I'm not effective at all of doing that sultry voice. <laughs> it's why I can't find a sugar daddy. Because, you know, I'm just like one of the guys. But that's all I've got for now. I just thought I'd give you a little tour. Talk about, you know, think about your avatar and audience. Think about your placement. And try to make it accommodating to everyone. TTFN, good luck. Huff big. Like, comment, subscribe. Because after all, Amazon needs love too. I can't even talk tonight. See, this is my bedtime. Amazons need love too. Bye. Bye. -bye.